Hi gamers, it's time for the Sandbox news. If you haven't heard, Early Access came out this week. It's just a dev preview for now and only a few people have access. Here we're at the main menu. Here we can see all the games. These are the ones I have installed locally. Uh, here are the new releases, most popular, and live development. These are people actually working on their game modes right now. We've already seen DM98, Hidden, and Sandbox. These two are community-made ones. This is Giga Chad's box uh, by Graze. I don't think it's functional yet. And then here's Death Run that I'm working on. This also isn't that functional. I'll load up a game of Sandbox. So I just click it, and then I click Create Game, and then I can choose a map. Uh, these are all the workshop maps, and these are all the default local maps. These were all used for testing. Let's start uh, by looking at this one. This one has, uh, I think this is the most detailed map. Oh, it doesn't work. Nice. So that's a feature of Sandbox right now is that nothing really works. That's why they're not giving out access to a lot of people. I think I fixed that issue. Now we should be able to load up a map. Let's look at this one, DM test map 02, and this is an art past one. Oh yeah, it loaded. That's nice. So this is just a deathmatch map, but with art in it. I'm not entirely sure what this location is supposed to be. I guess it's like a concrete storage facility. I'm going to enable the dev cam, and then I can like fly around and give a real nice cinematic preview of the map. Very cool. Uh, I really like the shaders. Like, look at the reflections on this floor. Wow. We have a forklift. Let's see if he's noped. It looks like this crate is still floating. Everything's still really early. So that's this map. I'm going to switch out of the dev cam mode and now I'll show you the gameplay, I guess. So we have the fizz gun. Um, the gravity gun, the tool gun, and a gun gun. In the sandbox mode right now, the gun just has infinite ammo, and I can use my alternate fire to spam. Uh, we have the spawn menu from Gary's Mod. This this is a recreation of the Gary's Mod sandbox mode, so they're working on adding all these different tools to it. We have balloon, box shooter, which is the default tool, shoots a box, or a barrage of boxes. Lamp. Ooh. I haven't seen this one yet. Or I don't think it was working before. That's nice. I don't think you can change the color of this yet. I'm pretty sure it's just a random color. Yep. Leaf blower blows props around. Um, here's a light, like the Gary's Mod light. The remover tool. Resizer. It's gonna create, you can resize crates. You can also resize players, but nobody's on right now. The thruster, I don't know how to turn the thruster on or off yet. I don't know if that's a feature. Weld, the weld tool works. And wheels, but I don't know how to spin the wheels. I don't know if that, if you can do that yet. Uh, very cool. And here's the spawn menu. As you can see, we have the cartoony assets and all the clothes. I can spawn a ragdoll down and like pose it, uh, just like you would in Gary's mod. And there's no like face poser yet. If I scroll down, we have some cartoony assets. Uh, and then if I go down further, I have assets from Rust. So these are like realistic. Uh, they don't all work um, in the spawn menu yet, but they will eventually. Uh, there's like trucks and stuff. I'm not going to be able to delete those now because they're not set up to work as physics props. So there's a few entities, uh, as we saw the balloon, the car. Um, we can't actually drive a c the car yet. There's no way to drive it. There's, oh, you, there's this gravity arrow where it changes the gravity. I guess it doesn't change it on the car, but it changes it for all the props. It's pretty cool. A drone. Uh, I have the gravity offset a little. You can't fly the drone yet, um, but you can destroy it. 
and noise test. We've saw this before. It's just like a noise pattern. I think that's everything for the sandbox mode. Uh, you can go in third person and I showed off the dev cam. Uh, the dev cam has some debug tools so I can like look at the entity data and I can uh, change the depth of field. It's really laggy but it looks really nice. Um, and then it has uh, three different uh, speeds and like cinematic modes like look how cinematic this is. And you can also no clip around here. I'll give a overview of the level. Um, I haven't actually looked at this, but it looks really nice. I don't know what this area is supposed to be though. I guess it's just like a concrete facility. Now let's look at this other map, Testo 5. This map is a warehouse, I believe. It's for death. Oh, we got a player joining. So currently you can just join um people's servers and like there's no restriction <laughs> so random people can just join your server right now that's good though it's good for testing he might have been in the server before and i didn't even notice oh cool so uh i'm just gonna do a quick tour of this map i'll go into the the cinematic camera here we go um this one is just a warehouse We'll go into cinematic mode. So this is for like deathmatch and hidden. Okay, let's look at the next map, DM Yard. I don't think this one works. Uh, if it does work, I'm pretty sure it's really bad. Oh yeah, this one's just pitch black. So it's not like a real map. Let's look at test. I think test works. Nope, test is also black. Test map. I think I know test map. This one works. So yeah, this is the map that we saw in the screenshots and in those GIFs that have been posted. It's got the water. Here, I'll swim in the water. So you can like swim. There's no, it doesn't look right. There's no like water overlay. And you can't really jump out of the water that well. You need like a ramp to get out. We can look at these pipes. This is a pipe tile set um, and a little ramp. Over here we have a, a dark room with like fog. Very cool. Now let's look at test map 01. I'm pretty sure this map has missing textures on it. So if you haven't seen missing textures in Source 2, this is what they look like. You can see it through the whole map and it's just a red wireframe. This map, um, it has buttons to open the doors, um, and there's this light room. Now the lighting on the gun is actually really cool, but look closely at my view model. It's, it's just so crazy. And if you haven't noticed, I do have dynamic shadows um, on my character and on everything really. Oh yeah, it looks like my FPS. You can see my FPS. It's been over 100 this whole time. Uh, there is no ladders yet. Ladders don't work yet. That's all of these maps. There's more that we can load from the console, but we've already seen those in my previous videos. Any map that I haven't shown doesn't work, or is that older version of a different map. These are the workshop maps. This one is a workplace. I guess it's an official map. It's a recreation of CS Office. You can totally see the office layout on here. Um, there's no textures or anything in it yet. It's just a very basic death match or a hidden map. Next, let's look at the flat grass. Now, the screenshot is from the Gary's Mud flat grass, but you're going to be very disappointed. This is what flat grass is in Source 2 sandbox. It's just a big block, um, big ugly block and there's nothing inside it. I actually made a cooler version of Flatgrass. I call it Flatgrass Cool. So we'll look at that real quick. I made this on my Twitch stream actually in about one hour. 
Um, it's just like a better version of flat grass. It's still not very good. It does have a secret room though, which has been expanded a lot. I added a pool. There aren't any tables in Rust, so we have to use like crates or doors, uh, like on top of boxes. Uh, there's a little room here with a car and a little pool. I wanted to make the water higher up, but I don't actually know how to have water yet. Um, this is an ocean, so it extends out forever. Next, let's look at Floodgate. Axiros is actually making a flood game mode. There's not a whole lot to see here. Um, it's just this very cool environment. If you don't know what Flood is, basically you build a boat out of props. This isn't a very good boat. And they don't actually float yet, but they will eventually. So you build a boat out of props, and then you get on the boat, and you like shoot each other and break each other's boats. And the water damages you. Oh, it looks like everyone's starting to join now. Um, I'm going to show off that you can resize players. Very cool. So he made like a little spinny thing. SB flats doesn't actually work. So let's look at the next map. This one is Death Run. I made this for um, a Death Run game mode. The Death Run game mode doesn't actually work yet, but I do have a map for it. So if you don't know what Death Run is, one player is the death. They have to hit the buttons to activate the traps. <laughs> so in Death Run, um, the death has to sit here and press the traps. Uh, did they both die on that? They did. So we have to, they have to try to get through the saws. The trap here makes the saws move faster. This trap is a, a spinny blade. He died. Wow, very cool. I'm not going to show off the whole map. You can catch it on my live stream. I'm going to be working on it later today, right after this video comes out. Next, let's look at the prop hunt map. I also made this. This map, I made it in about 30 minutes. So it's kind of bad, but it's good enough to get a game of prop hunt going. It's just the secret room from my flat grass map, but with like props spammed everywhere in an outdoors section. Very cool. So somebody's actually making a prop hunt game mode. I do want to make another proper map for it when that comes out. But for now I'm going to work on death run. So I can stick like a thruster on this box. Now it spins. I'm going to start a game of deathmatch real quick. I'm going to use the default map. This one has weapon spawns in it. So it's just a standard deathmatch. It's based on the Half-Life 1 deathmatch. Uh, you just run around and shoot at people. I died. What's that sound? <laughs> Is that like the code lock sound? Wow. So weapons randomly spawn across the map. There's the SMG, the shotgun, and the crossbow. I got the shotgun. I'm pretty sure I can one-shot somebody if I'm like right up close to them. So let's see if I can find someone. Yep. <laughs> There's the secondary fire that fires two bullets at once. Well, let's see if I can find the crossbow. Oh, also this game mode uh, gives you like a random outfit when you join. The crossbow is pretty rare. <laughs> oh, here's a crossbow. Here it is. Um, there's no like sound for it yet, and the arrow is kind of buggy, but it works. It's an instant kill, so it's really powerful. It is a projectile weapon, but uh, it's not like it moves pretty quickly. Rest in peace. Hidden doesn't work for right now. That's okay. I'm back at the menu now, waiting for this ear to go away, and. Uh, when I click settings, nothing happens. They haven't actually added a settings menu to the game yet. What I can do is I might be able to join somebody while they're making a game. So if I click find game, let's see if I can join them. I didn't even look at what game mode this is. So I have like a health and I have like a brain power. What is this? 
My brain is going down. I'm out of brain. Oh, my screen went black because he's working on the game mode right now. And whatever he's testing is, it gives you a black screen. So my IQ, uh, and it's going like up and down. I'm not, really not sure what this is, but it's cool that I can just, oh, it's called ghost. So maybe it's like a ghost hunting mode. That's cool. Let's look at the other one that somebody's working on. It's called multi tanks. Now I might not be able to join them because they're actively working on it and they might not have all the files uploaded. It looks like this game mode doesn't work. Um, I can't actually click the cancel button, so I'm gonna have to close the game and restart it. That's just something that you have to do with Sandbox right now. It's really early and like super broken. That's why they're not giving out a lot of keys yet. If you had this game, you would be very disappointed. So I restarted the game and it looks like there's a new game mode being worked on. Let's try to join them. This one's called Island. I have no idea what this one is. I haven't seen it yet. There's 20 files to download. So that's it. That's really all there is in the game right now. Uh, just a few game modes and maps. It's very early on and it's very buggy. Let's look at Death Run on my Death Run game mode. I'm actually going to be working on this right now on stream as soon as this video goes up. Currently I just have the basic player with the randomized clothes. I haven't set up the teams yet or the round system, just the basic map with the basic characters. So this game is so buggy and broken right now. So the buttons don't actually work. What I had to do is I had to detect when the button moves and then fire the trap based on that. And the kill zone doesn't actually work either. What I have to do is I have a different kind of trigger down here and it makes it so that I type the kill command in console when I touch it because the hurt boxes don't actually work yet. So that's been sandbox. That's what it, it's like right now. As soon as this video goes up, I'm going to be live streaming, working on this death run game mode. So go to my Twitch page right now if you're watching this when it comes out and I'm live, you can see it there. It's going to be a lot of fun and I actually need help making traps. So if you join, you can help me design traps for this game mode. Also, you can follow my Twitter page to get real-time news. That's it. Goodbye.